Hello and welcome to this uh, very first video in English this time. So um, today we are making a XP system and as always if you don't want to code it yourself you can always uh, download the example pack from the description. But it works like this. So you have a block, you can choose whatever the block it, block it is, it also could be multiple. And if you break it, you gain XP and you see that the scoreboard goes up by one and today we want to code this for this uh, we obviously need the javascript file so we will just call it xp.js then also we will import it into the main.js but that's not why I want so then we need to import the world So, now we want to detect if a block is being broken. So, what we uh, use here is the, uh, is the world dot events dot block break event. There's a method to subscribe it on it. We can attach a function to it. <coughs> and using the callback, we can now set uh, a constant for player event dot player <coughs> and we now we also need to uh, set a constant for the block but it's not a dot block because um, it will be air because if you break the block th there's gonna be air right to get the block uh, that is bro uh, that is broken and not the block that's after there, uh, we need to use the broken block permutation, right? Those broken block permutations is a, contains a block permutation, and from that block permutation, we can use uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The block type, and from the block type, we can use the ID. So we can just dot type. And now we theoretically could use ID to get the block ID. Alright. Now what we need to do is we need to um, create a class for our, for our uh, blocks that uh, we want to include in our breaking thingy. So we're just going to create a class called, blo called blocks. It's going to be, uh, it's going to have a constructor. Right, like this. In this constructor, we are gonna uh, have a block ID, block ID, and the XP amount. And additionally, if you want uh, different XP types like mining, uh, farming, forging, whatever, you will also need a XP type. Why well, these are just variable names or something? You you can just uh, name them whatever you want it's yes now we need to put this then uh, the first uh, parameter and then equal to again the parameter so this dot block ID is equal to block ID and this uh, and we're gonna make this for everything so for XP and XP type now we can create a array containing uh, our blocks and the uh, and the XP values with const. You can name that array whatever you want. I'll just name it B because it's short. It's gonna be an array. And now, since we made a constructor for the blocks, we can use that constructor to well construct as an object with those properties like new blocks. Well, I just noticed a block is not the best name, but like. It's completely pointless, you can choose whatever name you want. So we have to put in a block ID so we can use Minecraft stone. Then we're gonna need the XP value, like for example 1. And then the mining XP type, uh, 
the XP type. In this case, it's mining XP. Right? <clears throat> now, what we do is we check if the broken block is a uh, part or is, is co co contains uh, something here in the array. So uh, we need to create a for loop. Hello. For, just click on for loop. I'm gonna name it i. Instead of array dot length, we want to get the <coughs> b dot length. So the length of that array, in this case, it's one because you only have one element. Then we need to check if the broken block, so the uh, block dot id is equal hello is equal to the uh, b from the index i and then the property block id that we defined up here then we can execute some code in this case you can like uh i know in increment the scoreboard or something with player dot run command and you can of course that scoreboard uh, the scoreboard uh, has to exist in your world but like i hope you know how to do that scoreboard players add add s and then uh, we need to so the b and then the index i dot XP type so um what it will do is it will take uh, this argument and increment the scoreboard for this uh, argument so it will increment the scoreboard mining XP so we need to create the uh, scoreboard that is exactly named how this is named I will I will show you later don't worry now we need to uh, increment it by the uh, XP value, in this case it's 1. Now we can also make it an action bar, appear in the action bar, dot run command. Hello, hello. Sometimes my keyboard just doesn't want to. Title, it is action, action bar. And then uh, we can use colors, but it doesn't matter. And uh, what I usually do is just for uh, just just so it looks better. Um, I'm gonna make a function that capitalizes the first letter of the uh, of the of the mining XP string here, because what I wanna do is take that mining XP string remove the two last uh, uh, characters and uh, make the first one capitalized just take this function you can just copy it or whatever and now we can I'm gonna I'm make it colorful okay oh sorry for my bad English it's my very first video in English so we can use the function capitalize first letter with the uh, string i dot xp type. So what we do here is we pass in the xp type string to this function, which will just uh, yes set the first letter of it to uppercase, and then we can just slice the last two um, yeah the last two uh, ch characters off with slice and then negative two right and then we can something like this oh right this is uh, still in the that's not supposed to be here that's supposed to be right after this so um this is again yeah now we now we need to say how much xp you've gained so in this case it will be uh, blocks index and then the property XP <coughs> now we can 
say like I don't know it's it's up to you how you color it or how you design it so now it will say XP gained and we will also make a um, sound like when you when you break a block you will get a sound we can also make that but for that we uh, need to use a uh, there is a there's a player dot play sound right and what it takes in is a uh, sound string and a sound option. The sound string is just random.orb, so we can just use that, random.orb. But um, the sound, the the sound uh, options, that's a, a, con uh, that's a that's an object, and we need to make that. So we can just say um, right here, hello, const sound hello sound equal to new sound options but if that uh, doesn't get imported automatically you have to write it down here then we can just use uh, sound dot location is equal to player dot location so what we do here is we make the sound play there where the player stands uh, then we also want a um, pitch or let's make volume first volume uh, can be anything actually we just make it very high it won't actually increase the volume it, w it will just increase the range so what we want to do now is to uh, make the experience better we want to um, yeah, randomize uh, the, the, the pitch. So uh, I have another function for that. Just I just copied it from Stack Overflow. I don't know. That's how programming works. Okay, don't blame me. Um, what it will do is it will take a minimum and a maximum number, and then how many decimals you will uh, you will uh, you will need. And what it will do is generate a random number, but with a decimal dot so 1.2 or 1.3 or whatever <laughs> the important thing is that it will just make the sound experience a lot better and more random so we can just use that and make it get random float with um i recommend using a higher pitch than normal like 1.6 and 2.4 you can always change your values if it's too high or too low and we only need one decimal point <coughs> right <coughs> and um, that should be it we can test it of course alright sorry for my uh, bad English it's my first video in English so don't blame me for that so we can uh, check. I think that's the right pack. <coughs> I always rename the packs after I do the coding. I don't know why. So, uh, and when I grab no stone, give me my stone. We also need the objective, right? So we gotta add the objective. Where's the stone? There's the stone. Um, slash scoreboard players. No, objectives. Objectives. Add. Uh, we call that mining XP dummy mining XP so now we break the block we will we will hear a sound that's uh, not randomized but you can see at the bottom that we are gaining XP so I'm gonna look why uh, it's not getting randomized Got random float Oh yes, uh, yeah. So that's for me. We uh, obviously we need to use the sound here as a option for the play sound command because else it won't uh, be applied. And now when we go here, we can hear the sound when breaking XP. I will make it a bit clear. 
will sound very satisfying because it's random and you will also see in the uh, bar that you gained XP. We can also uh, set the display for the scoreboard. Objective, set display, list, uh, mining XP. So now when we... It was the wrong list, yes? Uh, I always get it wrong. Don't blame me. So, now, when you break it, as you can see in the sidebar, it will actually go up and make that sound and will say, and will say that we gained a XP. Right, that's actually it for the tutorial. If you want to add more blocks, you can just do a comma and then new block, blah, blah, blah. I think, I think you guys know how to do it. Just, just copy that and replace the things that you want to replace so that's actually it for the tutorial i hope you liked it first time in english this time and a bit longer than usual and with classes that's very uncommon for my tutorials and yeah see you in the next one